before you start, make sure you have the camera image in the monitor so you can see and optimize the result of the adjustment. The following steps need to be done with the joystick. First, you need to set up the speed of the teal and pan axis to 70%. The ramp should be in 0%. To make the setting of the PID value as easy as possible, the user can select the light or heavy camera preset from the submenu. Low stands for camera weight of 5 kg to 10 kg, which is in a low dynamic setup. High stands for camera weight of 10 to 20 kg and more, which is used for high dynamic setup. Adjusting the power value for the tilt first. By physically selecting the lens, try to move the tilt axis down and check if the camera is slipping. If the till axis slides, you must increase the power for the till axis. Note, when the remote head starts to vibrate, reduce the power value. Once the till power value meets your expectation, the same power value will be used for the pan axis as well. Press save. Use a longer lens and choose a fixed point in the set. Use the joystick to pan and stop the remote head in the select point in the set. Check if the camera stops at the select point, whether the camera exceeds the point, whether the camera is bouncing left and right. If the camera exceeds the desired point, increase the P and the D value in an increase of 5. The D value must be minimum 5 steps higher than the P value. When the remote head starts to vibrate, Reduce the p-value. If the remote head bounces to the left and right when you reach the desired point, you must slowly increase the d-value of the pan axis. Once the PID value of the pan axis meets your expectation, the same PID value will be used for the tilt axis as well. Press save. At very step angle, the way of distribution of the camera setup changes extremely. The drop setting permanently balances the pan and the tilt values as the camera angle gets stepper and stepper. Slowly, move the camera to 90 degrees top-down position. As the remote head begins to vibrate, slowly increase the drop value until the remote head stops vibrating. Note. Without any drop compensation, a strong vibration occurs at step angles. It is important to understand and to accept that all necessary steps, such as setting of the camera, attaching the remote head to the crane, the quality of the crane itself, and the PID setting must be taken in account and properly performed. If only one step is missing, the desired overall system performance cannot be achieved.